Hi, Mark Savage here in my shed. Still with the YBR, but this is in general. How do you tighten your chain? It's a simple thing and it's so many people get it wrong. The tools you need are minimal, it's just a bit of knowledge. Often people will just loosen it, tight on one side, forget where they are. It's just timing, remembering and a few tools. Let's have a look at this chain. Chains are in the MOT and if it's baggy like this, it can cause problems and will fail the MOT and also it could come off. Look, see it's moving around at speed, it's tight but when you slack this is dangerous and it can be fixed in a couple of seconds. Very simple tools for this little YBR, 17mm, 12mm, 10mm. Again 19mm, 12mm, 10mm. So how do we do it? Well I'm here to show you. First, socket on this side. Next, span on that end. Now they've been in there sometimes, some WD-40 may help, but use your foot if you haven't got the power to move your hands. Literally, hold this side, hold the span of the other side, and release. That's all you've got to do. Nothing fancy. And that's enough. That's all you need to do. Pop on here, and undo one, and the same on this side. Putting your bike on the centre stand is great, not necessary all the time, but it's easy to work on. 10 mil. It's just doing one turn either side. So if you get a quarter turn on one side, do a quarter turn on the next side and test. Simple. Let's have a look. Start with this side. You're going in. So we'll just go one and test the chain. Needs more. One half turn there, well it's a quarter turn really. And a quarter turn here. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. The reason why I'm undoing quarters is exhausting the way. If you put five turns one side and four the other, your wheel isn't straight and it'll do this. It'll wear, it'll feel funny, it won't ride nice, it needs to be done properly. And that is it. Let's have a look. Sometimes it helps to get these out correctly, so one half turn, two half turn, three half turn, four, you know, five half turns. And the same on this side, but to be honest with you, I know what I'm doing, but that's the best way to do it. And normally I haven't got bloody exhaust in the way. Let's have a look at the chain. That's perfect. Remember, you've got to sit on it and it'll take some slack. So a one inch up and down, that's a perfect chain now, and an MOT pass. Rip into the cog at the back. The front sprocket. The sprockets are okay on this one, really. And I'm still waiting for the stator. But that's the other video. So there we go. Really simple. Oil the chain up next. And your job done. Back on the road. Remember, whatever you do one side, do the other side. I know that the first thing wind up, but I knew I recorrected that over this side. I know I had a quarter turn, so it's just quarter turns each way. So bring the 12mm bolts out together. And put the 10mm bolts in together. Once you're happy, tighten it back up, clean the chain with some clean lube, oil it up, job done, away you go. Check out my videos, there's loads on this YBR. Check out my videos, there's loads on here. I know this is a YBR, but that generally is right up to, you know, 1,000 cc's. Now on some big bikes on single arm, that's completely different. Like my Ducati Multistar, that is different. You've got a lever to move. But any chain normal that has got the sprocket either side, undo, take out. Push in, tighten up. Remember to tighten the 12mm back up and tighten the main one back up. Obviously, it will wobble everywhere. Any problems with that? It was wrong in the first place. <laughs> Check out my videos. There's loads on here now on reviews of big bikes, fixing small bikes. You name it, it's all on there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.